So far, when talking about updates, we've been talking about updating the server itself. But let's talk about the clients for a moment. We don't want to have to have each client go out separately to Microsoft, download the updates. If we have a thousand computers in our organization, why do we want to waste that kind of bandwidth and time having a thousand different computers go to Microsoft and get the update and download that update? That's a lot of wasted time and bandwidth. Why don't we just have a server download those updates one time and then push those out to our clients? Well, that's what this does. Windows Server Update Services, WSUS. Some people pronounce it WSUS. Some say WSUS. I like WSUS better. It saves time and bandwidth because each client is not downloading duplicate updates. It allows the administrator to test and decide which updates are approved. First, we want to test those updates against a test machine and find out if it breaks anything. Also, it allows the administrator to control the scheduling for the updates of those clients. So, let's take a look. Let's head over to our server. So, let's head over to our server now and take a look at where we would set that up. Here we are on our server, and the first thing I want to do is to install the WSUS role to make this particular server a WSUS server. So let's go to our server manager, and we will install that role. I have to wait for a moment for it to finish doing what it's doing here. I think it's done. I'll click Add Roles now. Next, 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 until I get down to Server Roles. And now I can install Windows Server Update Services. There are the features that are required to go along with it. And there I could install it. Next, let's take a look at how we would make the clients pull from the WSS server rather than from the Internet. I'm going to cancel this out. I'm not going to finish the installation. And I'm going to open the Group Policy Manager. The group policy manager is where I would set up for clients to pull their updates from this server if I were to set this up as a WSUS server. So we'll just pick on the old default domain policy, although I would probably make a WSUS policy for this, but I'll right click and go to edit. Now I'm going to start here with the computer configuration because I want to force that computer to pull from WSUS. It's not by user. So I'm going to go to Computer, Policies, and then down to Administrative Templates. Looks like I need to pull this thing over a little bit. Administrative Templates, and then Windows Components. And, oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff under there. And then let's go down to Windows Update. And it's right there. All right, let me see if I can expand this a little bit so we can read it a little bit better. And here's the one I want. Specify intranet Microsoft update service location. So we'll open that up. And if I enable that, then over here is where I can set up the various aspects of that, including where the server is that this is going to pull from. So everybody that is in the OU that this particular GPO is over, it represents, would then be set up automatically to pull their WSUS, or excuse me, their updates from WSUS from this server rather than from the internet.